Get out of your place to me. Now, I'm going to be trying. I'm going to be practicing the Theory of Everything 2. So basically, the Theory of Everything 2 is another game. This one is pretty hard, so what I was thinking is we could practice on it. I'll turn on to that one. But um, I found a level we can play called... Uh, same one right here. No, I can't. Oh, save levels. We gotta go to reset. Map packs. One of them that I just played. Here, it was called Easy TOE 2. So basically, e Easy TOE 2 is Theory of Everything 2, but it's like easy. They made it easier. Alright, so basically, they took out all the basic hard stuff as you can see already, and they really sucked with this part right here. So as you can see, they basically show you where all the stuff is, so you can basically get down. There's no upside down stuff in this. I took out all the ones that you're not supposed to jump on. I never really found that. Uh, here we go. Dang it. It's really hard when it's not upside down. I don't know why. I just so used to playing it with the upside down and everything. It's not upside down, that's so it's harder. But um, I got 68%, and which is really good. I usually die on this part, and yeah, I can do it. I think I got like actually like 15 on the actual game. Alright, so we took out the egg. That part usually is so hard. Okay, now this part, they actually turn the thing upside down, but it basically shows you where all the stuff is. That's a good thing. On this part, you can just hit the ground. I don't know what they changed about the wave part. Oh, they took out um, the spikes. All right, they took out the spikes, which doesn't, there's nothing really different about the spikes. It's how fast you have to react when they're doing the little corners, which is super confusing to me because I usually am bad at the wave and this is just gonna be one heck of an episode. I'm literally just tapping the space bar. Well, sometimes I gotta keep it under control though. On this part, you can literally just tap the space bar, it doesn't really matter. Whoa! Close. I'm so close to dying. Oh, why would you jump? I don't know how I got- I think I died at 16. 16. Is it the one where you're like, um, the little spaceship and you gotta like, memorize where the saws are and stuff? I'm not so sure. I've played this level so many times in practice. Come on! I've played this uh, level so many times in practice mode and... The song is pretty cool. Alright. Even though I in the actual theory of everything too, I never die on that part. It's so weird, I never did it before. On that part, there's actually a little square that you can't actually, or a little circle that you can't hit. And I always hit it, but I, I don't, there's only like two times where I didn't actually hit it and I actually did the level. Not messing it up. And there's actually spikes on here, so you can't actually do that. If you do it without messing it up. And usually you have to jump. What? I know that part. I know that part, actually. I memorized the whole thing. I know that part. I don't, I don't, is that 60? I don't know where I was. I think that was like 50. Oh yeah, that was 50, because I died at the wave part in the actual game. Okay, nice. The actual wave part's pretty hard, because there's spikes. I never hit them, though. I think there's spikes. I don't know if they changed anything in that. Let's see. Holy crap. Almost died on that part. Okay. We're doing so well right now. I've never been this good at these levels. Oh yeah, especially TOE2, which is aka TOE2 if you don't know. Whoa, homeboy, homeboy. You did pretty good on my part. I don't miss this one. I always do it. Oh, you see how close that was? I am so far right now. Eight. 
85%? Oh my god. Guys, we almost just beat Theory of Everything 2. Yeah. Easy Theory of Everything 2. Alright, so if I beat this level, I'm gonna try it in normal mode. The actual, like, level. See if we can get that far. I died. Because I don't like that upside down part with the spaceship. You guys saw that? That's super hard, actually. They just took out the, like, black stuff. But it's actually super hard. I actually have no idea how I'm gonna do that. Get a tackle. I just gotta watch out for this part right here, that part, because there's this thing that you're not supposed to hit, right? Always do it because I keep pressing that thing. Because I keep on thinking that I'm gonna jump even though it does. Whoa! Whoa! I get scared on that part, and there's actually a triple strike right there, and you gotta jump. You gotta jump on it. Whoa! It didn't move again. Okay. We're doing well. I cannot believe that we just got 85 on that guy. I basically know the rest of the level after that. It's really hard at the end because you gotta like touch a whole bunch of stuff. I don't know that. You know, I actually got that coin, but I didn't know what to do with it. I actually seen that coin on YouTube. This part's actually really super easy. Got it? As soon as you like play this level, it's all just muscle memory. As soon as you like pass everything like that part, you gotta like jump a certain amount of time. It's crazy, but I never usually die on it. But... Alright, this part right here, everything's actually invisible, which is really hard. Ah. And you actually have to like keep it so you don't hit this thing, the floor. Which is why I'm gonna practice not hitting the floor so I don't hit the floor in the level. Because I don't wanna like be shot. Even if I die, oh well. As soon as I get on that stupid UFO, I'm just gonna like, just not gonna talk for this. Because it's really messy to find the UFO. Alright. Should I try to get that coin? It's not upside down. Usually I get it when it's upside down, but. Or when it's not upside down. It's weird that I've never done it. Why didn't you just go down like you're supposed to? Gosh, why am I messing that part up? Oh yeah, by the way, you're probably wondering how I got the lenny face. Um, I got it from the, um, whatever it's called, um, the vault or something, yeah, you get it from unlocking the vault by getting 10 years of coins, which I did, I have like 11 or something, I don't know how much I have, oh. how do you keep dying on that part, you're not supposed to die right there, that's the part where you don't die, that's the part where you, you're not, I don't know what to do on that part because it goes upside down and it's not going upside down, how did I do it before, I don't How do I not die on this part, which I always do it? And I die on the other easiest part. Alright, people say that this part right here. Oh, because you're not supposed to jump as many times as I do. Okay, cool. That's so bad. I'm, just, I'm like literally just repeating the tap on that space bar. You don't want to tap too many times on this part. Oh yeah, I would have died on this. This is where you're supposed to jump is right there. He didn't go up when I pressed it. Come on, man. I suck at the mouse, but I'm gonna use it anyways. The mouse sucks. I never use the mouse, and it just sucks. Look at that. You can already get rid of the mouse itself because the mouse is so bad. Why though? Okay. Yeah, the mouse sucks. I'm not using the mouse. Better work, I swear to god. What is happening? Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm gonna try to find out a way to improve my mic quality. It's not really improving my mic quality. Maybe I just have to use headphones. How about I start using headphones? Because, because I am done having my voice come out of the ghosting computer. It's coming out of bad quality and it's not really HD, it's by me. You know what I can't. I'm, you got 85, that's close enough. I'm done. Alright, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you want more geometry dash, just leave in the comments below. Bye.